Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and it is haul time. It is mostly Dollar Tree because I got such a weird variety of stuff that I had to share, uh, plus a couple of other things, and a crochet pattern. What? And the crochet pattern is free. I'll tell you about that here in a minute, and it will be linked down below. First, let's go over uh, the Dollar Tree. Or as a lot of people are calling it now, the dollar twenty-five tree, because you know most stuff is a dollar twenty-five. However, the laundry basket, which is a good size to hold one load if you mound it up properly, which is what I like to do. I don't like to get it overloaded. Um, this was five dollars. They, they do have an aisle now that is Dollar Tree Plus, at least at our store, and things are three dollars or five dollars, and some things are a little bit more. But you know that it's there on that aisle and it's marked and everything. And yep, need another one of these. And plus, I used it instead of using bags to get this stuff home. Um, on that same aisle, I did get these. They're probably, they, they might be cheaper elsewhere. I don't know, I haven't priced them. This was $3. It's 50 cups. It says for special occasions, 18 fluid ounces, blah, blah, blah. I don't use them to drink from. I'm using them for my plants. <laughs> so there is that. Okay, I'm going to put that over there so I can put it with my plant stuff. Got some other plant stuff buried down here too. But I do have my receipt. I do have to uh, let you know about some interesting stuff that I found. Some great deals. First, there was this. And yes, it is open because I ate one this morning for breakfast. This is a pack of six of these seven days soft croissant with chocolate filling yeah it's a decadent sort of a snacky breakfast thing but i figured it's a buck 25 for these now this outer package says on it for individual sale remove this over wrap before displaying they had a bunch of these up on the shelf just like this and i took it up and i was waiting for them to go oh we can't sell it like this but nope it scanned it was a buck 25. i call that a steal i'm just saying that that was not bad and i really don't have any room over here for this but we're gonna put that there Oh, uh, let's see. Other foodie type stuff. So I got a couple of bags of these because I really like them. They're plantain chips. Lovely some platanos. Yes. I uh, got these for the hubby or the hand, as some of you know him. Crispy coconut rolls. I don't even think he knows that I picked these up. I, I saw them on the aisle. I picked them up, brought them over, stuck them in the thing here. Got a couple of more bottles of this. This is one of those... Sometimes somebody else drinks it and I take a little bit of it, take a sip because it is full on sugar soda, but it's good. Dark cream, it, it, I don't know, Italian style soda. I don't know what that means, but all I know is it's yummy. It's really, really yummy. Uh, hubby picked this up for himself. Cashew Almond Duo, little snacky snack thing there. Uh, another thing for the plants were a couple of more of these. Yeah, these are cheap. These are cheap AF. Okay, these are, you know, buck twenty-five each. It's hard to get them separated when they're together like this. And they have a thing on the bottom, you know, punch holes here for water drainage. And be careful. When you punch the hole, the whole thing's going to crack. So what I did, when mine did that, because I've already got some tomatoes and some, um, I just, I have some cheesecloth that I laid down so that it wouldn't lose all the dirt to give a little structural integrity there. But these are going to come in handy for transplanting and stuff because I don't really have any plant stuff. This is my first time going down that road. So yay, that was pretty good. Also food stuff, sometimes they have these. These are everything bagels, but 25 for four of them. And they actually don't suck. They're pretty good. The date on them is good. Let's see, these have April the 18th. And I'm pretty sure that we could eat these in less than, uh, we could eat them by tomorrow if we really wanted to, but. I'm just saying, plenty of time to eat those. Um, hubby picked these up. Coffee hard candy. Those are for him. These are also for him. He loves cowtail minis. That's not my deal. I picked these up for him. I don't know if he knows I picked them up. He likes sixlets, and I saw them there. They're Easter sixlets. Whatever. Whatever. They're pastel colors. Got myself a little something as if I ever have time to color cats with some really neat cat pictures to color you know I don't like that they're on the front and the back so you kind of lose one side I think that's a bummer of course you could trace it and then yeah that's too much work but I thought they were cute pictures and what else did I get at the old DT 
Oh, this. I saw these on the aisle and I went, huh. I mean, not for me, obviously, when you see what it is. Mind you, this is a buck twenty-five for four of them. Men's unders. Okay. These are the uh what are they? Boxer briefs. I showed them to the hubby and I said, This work for you? You want to give them a shot? They had them in his size. He said, how much are they? $1.25. He's like, really? Four pair. If he tries some on and they're like, no, that's not going to work for my junk, um, we could use them for cleaning rags. Just cut off the elastics and stuff. I don't care. A buck twenty-five for four pair of drawers? You have got to be kidding me. Price these suckers at Walmart. All right? No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the reason, the main reason that I decided I had to do a little haul video with, you know, with the cute little stuff that we got yesterday. We went last night. I was like, I got to get out of the house. I just want to walk a little. And when I walk, I like to do a little retail therapy. What better place to do retail therapy than Dollar Tree? Because, you know, you kind of know what you're going to spend. It's not too bad, usually. Um, but I was walking around and I saw this. And I had to buy it. Magical Poop Marshmallows. Basically, they're calling it unicorn poop. Poop. It says so right on the package. Poop. Poop troop. Ah. Anyway. Yeah. Joe knows what that is. But I had to laugh. I'm like, are you kidding me? I showed this to the hubby and he was like, really? Really? I mean, I might try one. It says, you know, eight pieces is a serving. It's just a bit blown up sugar, but magical boop. I had to laugh. Okay, that is the Dollar Tree portion. So, yeah, and all together, I did end up spending uh, almost 30 bucks. It was $29.63 with all the tax tag and title and all of that. So, that was not bad. Um, but, yeah, most expensive thing I purchased was the uh the laundry basket all good stuff and we had fun walking around so poop okay to leave the poop behind um i order stuff in the mail sometimes just sometimes and i subscribe to stuff in the mail sometimes now i did get my sips by subscription in and I was looking at the teas, and oh, there are some good teas coming up. I'm going to tease you with the teas, just a little of that. But I've got my card with it, my April teas. So I'm looking forward to this, and you will see these teas, or a lot of them anyways, tasted, sampled, and otherwise critiqued on um, Time for Tea on Mondays. So make sure you take a look out for that, and I'll, hopefully I'll have a playlist popping up there. If not, check my playlist for that. And let's see. This is a pattern that I have printed off. Yes, I have a black and white printer and not a color printer. We have a laser printer at the house. And um, it is a free pattern. It is from Karen V. Miguel. Karen V. Miguel, she does a lot of stuff on YouTube about growing your crochet business. I don't have a crochet business, but she's so much fun and she's so upbeat. And she does some really cool crochet stuff too. She's having a crochet along with this um, a week from yesterday. I, you go to her site and it, there was a live about it. Her lives are always nice and short. And she talked about this and gave you the link to it to download it, do whatever you want with it. But they're going to be crocheting this throughout the live. I won't be crocheting it throughout the live because I'll still be at work. I'm always at work when the lives happen. But I decided to print this off anyway and see if I can do it. It is the Blossom Scrunchie. I thought that was really kind of cute. So we're going to see about that. Oh, and this is the Divine Hats, which I think everybody has seen by now. Um, I love the colors in this and sometimes I just want to snuggle up with my cute hat and finally last but not least I have a box a box that says live alive a box that is from pure romance what this little rainbow thing going on there it's nothing naughty pure romance has more than just what you're thinking okay 
um, our friend Ashley at Stitching Ain't Easy. I will link her down below. I will link her up above. Make sure you go and check her out. Of course, you probably already subscribed to her because she's awesome. Um, this is her new endeavor. She is a pure romance consultant. And I have used the Pure Romance stuff before. They've reformulated a lot of stuff. They've repackaged a lot. They've changed names on some things they used to have. This is a hydrating body oil. And since I've been having so much problems with dry skin and eczema, I wanted to give this a shot. I haven't had it in a long time. So I ordered some. They have a whole array of products. Everything from hair products, skin products, um, personal products, okay? So I ordered and got this, and there were some free samples all tossed in there. One is a conditioning shave cream with the Capri Dream scent. And um, this is what it used to be called on all of the packages. Let's see if you can read that. That little top line below the heart. Yes, that is what it used to be called, as in Gucci Gucci Goo. Yeah, but without the whole thing. So they give you a sample of that. And also, if I remember, the original scent of this and everything anyway also made a nice moisturizer. It was just really, really nice. Anyhow. And then they give you a uh, little sample of Just Like Me, which is a water-based personal lubricant. Make of that what you will. This We have to keep it PG up over here, okay? And you get a nice little card from pure romance and I am looking forward to using some of the body oil I used to love doing that back in the day and it's just been a long time since I've known anybody who was doing the pure romance thing and I'm not interested in being a consultant uh, and she doesn't pressure you she's just like she's doing it because she enjoys it they also have supplements like dietary supplements and stuff which is kind of cool if you're looking for that so check her out enjoy that is my haul Aren't you glad I did some shopping so I could spend the money instead of you spending it? Right? <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you, uh, if you stayed this long, thank you. I would be grateful if you would leave me a thumbs up and leave a comment if you would like. What's the most interesting thing you've purchased lately? Anything weird? Have you bought underwear at Dollar Tree? Right? Um, just tell me about what's going on. And... Come back and see me really, really soon because tomorrow will be the Saturday vloggy thing. Would want you to forget that. <laughs> see y'all. Bye now.